Hey everybody. So I'm in the practice room today working on that little cornet during my usual trombone practice. Mostly to work on high range and dexterity for valves. But also to work on another brass instrument and just for fun really. So in doing this today, I thought it would be fun to experiment a little bit. Basically, what I was thinking about doing is establishing the sound on the trombone, then switching over to cornet and playing on the cornet for a little bit. Then going back over to the trombone to see if the cornet playing affected the trombone sound at all. Things that it could poss possibly affect is uh, high range, low range, timbre, brightness and darkness, resonance, articulation possibly, etc. So I wanted to do this in front of you guys and get your opinion on what you think, uh, whether it affected it or not, and if you think it did, how it affected my trombone playing. So the equipment I'm going to be using today is a Bach 42T, and the mouthpiece is a Greg Black 5G. For the cornet, I'll be playing on a Selmer Signet or Signet, I'm not exactly sure what the name is. Uh, excuse me if, for those of you who do know. Uh, the mouthpiece is a Vincent Bach 3G. Of course with the smaller shank because a normal trumpet mouthpiece would not fit on the cornet. And the tune I'll be choosing to do this on is a tune Easy Living and B flat major. So here's the trombone the first time. truth back to the trombone so here's the lower range first think if it affected the sound of the trombone at all and if it did how it did thanks for watching